Hi everyone, I'm Michael Lenick, and this is FHTV News for February 13th. As you know by now, Florida Hospital has made history by performing the area's first heart transplant. The procedure took place on the Orlando campus, but is something the whole town should be thrilled about. And now we have the green light to share with you the story, including that of the patient from the beginning. Here is 49-year-old Edwin Arce just hours before he got his new heart. I was laying in bed thinking, you know, when this heart's going to come, if it's going to come or what. I started getting doubts and everything. I was getting a little nervous. And then all of a sudden, the door opens and all these nurses and doctors came in. First thing in my mind was, either I'm going to die or they got a heart. <laughs> and then when they told me that we find you the heart, oh my God, I was so excited. I could have, I could have. I could have jumped up and kicked the roof or something. I, was, I wanted to kiss and hug everybody. I mean, I, I've been like this for 15 years and everything. I went from the, from the bed to the um, sofa in the living room and back. That was my daily routine every day, every day, every day. I mean, I was, you know, miserable, you know? I said, you know, I can't live like this. There's no way I'm gonna live like this. That's when I came here and I met Dr. Bada, Dr. Zerka, Serska, and. You know, they're professionals here, let me tell you. These people know what they're doing. They took good care of me, you know. They helped me relax. Those nurses, they're beautiful people, man. Those people took care of me like I was a little kid. I mean, I'm just telling them, you know, I'm ready for the new heart, for a new life, a new beginning. For a heart transplant to take place, it takes an entire team of highly skilled and dedicated people. Did you even know that every transplant patient is assigned a social worker? Jessica Perry is one for the Transplant Institute. In fact, she worked with Mr. Arce. It's a big adjustment for some people to know that they have somebody else's organ in their body and make sure that they're adjusting well with that, they're taking their medications properly, they have all the resources that they need, and then just to make sure that they're really doing well and doing their part after transplant. Mr. Arce was admitted to Florida Hospital over the holidays, but will be home with his new heart just in time for Valentine's Day. It took dozens of employees to help make this happen. From nutritional services keeping him nourished to the lab processing whatever tests were needed. It takes everyone to make something like this successful. It's a big team involved in all of this, so it's a big production and everybody's in on it. Nurse Carol Crouch helped care for Mr. R.C. in the Ginsburg Tower after the transplant. Every day during recovery, the team would huddle to discuss his progress and make sure everyone was on the same page. This is Dr. Donald Botta. He's the man who put the new heart into the patient. Even though it was a first for Florida Hospital, Botta has actually done this dozens of times. You know, you're taking such an incredible tragedy and you're turning it into a, really a, a miracle, you know, and, and, and I, I still get goosebumps every time I, I take the, the uh, clamp off and I let blood flow to the new heart and just watch it start beating. Uh, it, it, it will never get old to me. For the people at the Transplant Institute, this has been an emotional time, especially when you consider the history of getting this program off the ground. Dr. Barbara Churchka and Dr. Larry McBride were brought to Florida Hospital to build a heart transplant program. We met basically during the interview, you know, for half an hour and he asked, are you taking the job? I said, yes. And he said, I'm taking two. <laughs> and we became friends very fast. Then in November 2010, days before the first procedure could have happened, Dr. McBride suddenly passed away. Eric Stevens says that Larry, as he was called, was in everybody's thoughts during the past few weeks. It just felt like we fulfilled something for a really wonderful guy that helped get us started on a pathway, and it, it felt good to complete that for him. So I think it added, um, I would say, a sweetness. That uh, I'm over the bitter feelings over it. I'm, I'm ready for this to be sweet. This really is sweet success, but it's more than just a clinical milestone or hospital bragging rights. This is about our mission. It's about saving lives. It's about changing lives.
Here again is Mr. Arce the day he was discharged. I feel like I want to run a marathon. <laughs> I'm seriously. I am. I don't believe that, you know, how good I really, really feel. The next day, it was like somebody was tickling me all over my body. Mm -hmm. My toes, my nails, and my foot, my hands, everything. I felt every little sensation. You know, Dr. Bada did a great job when he took that thing and put it all together. <laughs> <laughs> energy, you know, I feel strong, and this is a miracle, man, you know, whoever gave me this heart, I don't know who it is, you know, I don't know, female, male, but thank you, because if you didn't donate, I won't be here today, you know, I would be buried somewhere, they know I was, I was ready to die, but you know what it is to be sick for so long, and to hear that you got a chance. You're going to live? They got a heart for you? Knowing that you were right there at the border of death. And then an angel comes and tells you, we got your heart. Believe me, I will never forget that day for well, as long as I live. You know, I'm not making all this up. This is coming out from my new heart. <laughs> <laughs>